Mas Ali or Malcolm. We got here yesterday and we are leaving tomorrow for Singapore. And then we're doing yeah, yeah, I just want to ask, uh, how would you describe uh, Joe Lowe? Uh, maybe his like psyche and how he spent his, you know, how someone like that is able to spend so much of taxpayers' money. Um, I think he was somebody who hated, the, if you talk to people that knew him, he hated to be alone. He would never be alone. He always had a, a retinue of people around him. And he was somebody who needed, you know, five cell phones, to circle the globe in his Bombardier 5000 private jet like every couple of weeks. It's almost as if he was very scared to stay still and to, to focus on anything for any one moment. So that, that's I think would be his psychology and that would explain why these frauds went from one to the, to the next without seemingly without much effort to think about how to fill the hole. Um, despite all of the money that he, that he had and that he lavished on people like Miranda Kerr and Leonardo DiCaprio, whomever, he would wear old clothes himself, right? So he had like a tattered backpack he would wear around, and he would have a whole, you know, a shirt he liked, but he, and he would go and buy eight pairs of shoes, but he would never wear them. So there's something, there's something uh, there that, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put a name on it, because I'm no, I'm no doctor, but there's something interesting about him, and I, I, I think that's what, what drove him. To, an incredibly talented guy, right? Very good at networking, and working out what people wanted and delivering it, but uh, yeah.